An update now to a story we've been following for months. Wood Construction has filed for bankruptcy. The bankruptcy filing came exactly two months after the Tennessee Attorney General filed a civil suit on behalf of dozens of people, including some here in our area. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson joins us now. Catherine, those customers who haven't had their homes completed are unlikely to see any money. That's right, John, because Wood Construction and the owner, Joe Leeton Wood and his wife have filed for bankruptcy, it's unlikely that victims will see any of the thousands of dollars that they paid on Wood Construction contracts. For one Kingsport family I spoke to, they lost more than just money. This is where we lived. Um, the top part now is additional. The fire initially started under what we had a porch here. Sarah Fogel's ranch house in the Bloomingdale community was supposed to be a stable place to land for the single mom and her three kids. I, when I bought the home, I wanted it for the kids one day and I did not want to move anymore. I despise moving and I despise not having Christmas the same place every year. So that was my goal. After her house was rendered uninhabitable, Fogel settled on wood construction to help rebuild her home. Said I took so much time trying to make the perfect decision. The pictures were amazing. They had a lot of testimonials that turned out to be false. By fall 2021, no work had been completed on the house and a neighbor had filed a complaint with Sullivan County about the eyesore. Fogel says it was the county workers who first alerted her to the claims against wood construction when she told them she'd paid wood construction to begin repairs. They said you may want to go on YouTube and look up a story that just came out about wood construction on Channel 11. I, my heart at that point, that's when I feel like trauma. Two years later, Fogel and her family are living in a two bedroom apartment with Fogel's bed in place of a kitchen table so her daughter and son can have their own rooms. Though she's not expecting to get any of the $78,000 she paid to Wood Construction, she's hopeful she can find a home again. I hope the market calms down a bit and then maybe can just buy again one day. Victims can still join the Attorney General of Tennessee's civil suit against wood construction. The deadline for individuals to file a complaint to join that suit is February 15th. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you, John. Katherine, thanks.